Okay, so we're patching holes in drywall. This is the actual kind of drywall I do like to do because everybody kind of needs to know how to do it because sometime or another you'll run into something where you have a hole like this where somebody mounted a TV and you don't want it anymore. Or you might have a young teenage son uh, with raging hormones. They knock a hole in the wall. Um, you might be a Dallas Cowboys fan, do the same thing. Um, so somewhere along the line, you'll probably want to know how to do this. And this is kind of how I do it. There's probably hundreds of ways to do this that I've seen lots of different people do, but I'm going to kind of go about how I've done this in a couple of spots and I like doing it. I've done it other ways. They all seem to work. So we'll go over it this way. So to start with, if you have a hole like this, usually that comes from something that looked like that because you'll see these are notched out here and you'll see how that's notched out right here. Um, I like to use the handy dandy um, oscillating saw to go ahead and level that out. Just take yourself a square or a level something, go ahead and cut straight across there. That way you have a nice square piece to put in there um, because you have those humpty humps, you'll have a little bit more that you'll have to mine. So the first thing we're gonna do with this is we're gonna cut ourselves a piece. This is a one by three. Um, it'll fit in behind there. That hole's about three and a half inches tall. So I cut these at about seven inches um, just to give myself plenty of room to screw in there because this is gonna be our backing um, for where we put our sheetrock on there. Um, so you'll have something that looks like this because you'll want a screw like that to be able to hold on to. I'm particular on this and I don't like holding it. So I like to use the old vice grips to hold on to it, to pull it to me. Cause when you screw in there, it's gonna push this board this way. So you will want to be able to hold it tight to you. I'm sure there's other ways to do this. There'll probably be people that comment that say, hey, there's, there's a better way to do that. This is just the way I do it. Um, so we'll set that up in there, be able to pull it to us, screw it in. I'll show you that in a second. So you see on this one, we actually took this one. We've got it in here. So we'll be able to hold that up there. We'll pull it to us. We'll put screws in right here, screws in right here, and that'll hold this tight. And that'll be our backing for that. So we can put our sheetrock in there and it'll be nice and tight. So now we've got our screws in there with our backing on there. Um, you got two screws on the bottom, two screws on the top. If you put one in, a lot of times it'll just pull out. The other thing I like to use, I like to use this bit, the dimple on the end of it, like you use for sheetrock. So that way you don't overdrive those screws all the way through and create another hole. So now we need to measure this hole out and figure out what that looks like. So we can cut ourselves a piece of sheetrock and put it in there. So you can use any old piece of sheetrock, just make sure it's the same thickness as what you're working with. And I just use a scrap piece here, um, marked where we're gonna cut it. I like to use a square to cut up against or something to cut up against. You can use a blade, you can use a knife, whatever you want. You just wanna take that, pour it right along there. And then you can snap it. back and you've got your little piece that you're going to put in there. So now we'll go put that in. So you want to test your fit, tested this fit. It's a little big. So what you can do is you can take your knife or razor, whatever, shave that off a little bit. Probably be a little edge on there that we need to take off. And then you can go try it again. So we got that piece in there, fits fairly snug. Use the same bit on that so it doesn't drive them all the way through, but it gets it down far enough to where you can mud over this. So now we'll just come back, tape, mud, paint, all good.